Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today I just wanted to do a foundation and concealer wear test. So can we do a foundation wear test today? Hopefully you guys are interested in it. This foundation is a little bit not on the brand, brand new side, but it's brand new to me. And I've been hearing so much word about it that I had to pick it up myself and try it out myself. And the foundation I'm talking about is the Born to Glow Foundation by NYX. And this is the Natural Radiant Foundation. And I do have mine in Cappuccino. You guys, I did kind of somewhat haul this a few weeks ago or I showed you guys in my shop my stash for the month and I kind of want to test it out today and see how it is. I do have a very long day planned ahead of me so I kind of want to, you know, test it out and see how it holds up. I also have the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. And this one is in the shade Warm Honey. Now, I did use this already um, yesterday, <clears throat> but I didn't do a video or anything. But I do want to wear it all day and see how it lasts and hold up. So hopefully you guys are interested in this video. I will be doing check-ins and stuff throughout the day. I did go ahead and put on my Wet n Wild. My Wet n Wild primer serum is the hydrating serum you guys know this is very new to me and i actually been liking it and i know you guys see my hair i didn't do a video but if you guys want a video when i go to redo this let me know because this is really crochet box braids that my mom turned me on to so i decided to try it didn't know how it was going to come out i got it up in a ponytail right now because it is a little stiff and it hurts a little bit but um i'm gonna take it down and you know do a whole style to it or whatever i'm just gonna do a quick beat face i don't have much time i'm getting ready to go to work i kind of did this at like a last minute type of ordeal but i said you know what i really want to try this foundation so let's just try it i will put the claims right here for this foundation, I got the shade Cappuccino because of Andrea Renee. She's the one who turned me on to it and she says Cappuccino works for her. I did tell you guys when I did pick this up, I swatched Mahogany too and I feel like Mahogany could work for me. But I said I wanted to test this out first and see how much it takes. But... Oh, you guys, and I did pick up a new shade of my L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation that I love so much. I picked up the shade Copper because I noticed that Andrea Renee had Copper in one of her... No, she had it on her Poshmark. And I tried to buy it from her, but she accidentally broke it when she was packaging it up. So I went hunting down for it. And I finally found it, so... If you guys want to see what copper looks like on me, just let me know down below. And I'm actually really liking this. She's blending out real easily. She's giving a decent amount of coverage. she's pretty and I don't know why but you guys know that I've been into dewy foundations lately I don't know what that's about but we're just rolling with it and that was like two in a pea size of a squeeze that did this to my whole entire face and she looks good we're gonna see about that now we're gonna go into the concealer 
and we're gonna pop that on really quickly. Ooh. Now you guys know, or maybe y'all don't, but my under eyes are like kind of dry. They're like the driest part of my face. And because this is a natural radiant concealer, I'm hoping that I don't get those dry patches like normal, which normally happens with any concealer that I use. So I wanna see what the hydrating concealers do. I mean, this one not fully claiming to be, you know, hydrating AF, but if it's a natural radiant, I'm assuming it has some type of hydration to it so claims will be right here and we're just gonna blend her out and see i don't know if you leave her on a little bit longer will she give a thicker coverage or what but she's a very pretty color i can't remember what color andrea renee had any concealers that she recommend i always tend to at least go one shade up because I like the little bit of highlighted feel. But she's blending out like a dream. She doesn't look dry. I wonder how she's going to hold up. And we're basically doing an everyday look. Because I'm in such a rush. <laughs> I do have to go to work like I said but I wanted to I don't want to do too much makeup and then oh excuse and then she kind of takes away from what we're doing damn she looks good and she blended out well alright we're going to go in with the Cody Airspun Translucent powder you guys know this is a part of my shop mustache as well as like a holy grail of mine so we're gonna set her down i just hate how messy it is and this one is the extra translucent um the extra coverage so she should like set set setting down pretty. I don't have any of the NYX setting powders or anything. So I kind of can't, you know, set everything with NYX products and keep it all together because I don't own any NYX. Not even a setting powder anyway. Do NYX even have setting powder right now? Besides the can't stop, won't stop, I, I know I can't use that because can't stop, won't stop is like a, a matte matte and I know it pulls all of my textures out. That's the one thing I notice about my under eye area. If it's too matte, it shows all of my textures in my face. So I'm learning to move away from that stuff. It's time to go in with my Black Radiance Translucent, my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in Honeymoon. You guys know I've been loving to set my face with this and I just use the butt of the Beauty Blender and just go right on in, press it on in and I've been loving the way it looks. I learned this from Savannah Silver here on YouTube. And it's been working out really good. It looks really pretty and very flawless. And normally I use powders like this, colored powders like this to go underneath my makeup like Jackie Anna does. That's how I learned it. 
but Savannah Silver turned me on to this way and like I said it has been working out pretty good and look smooth and flawless all day I want to spray my face with my magic rose water from the beauty supply store So I'm just going to go in and basically finish off my makeup. I did use the City Colors Lip Liner in Cocoa. I've been liking that lately. I am going to bronze up my skin. Where is... Oh. I'm going to use the original CoverGirl Queen Ebony. And we're just going to bronze up the skin. We're not going to do anything you know, dramatic. I am going to go into my Revolutions. Supposed to be blush palette, but there's some highlighter shades in here that I just absolutely love. I'm going to go into this top one right here very lightly. Just dust it on like that. Nothing too powerful, nothing too much. I just want something very light and dusty. And I do want to use their Powder Puff Lippy by Mix. And this one is in Cool Intentions. You guys, I've been loving this Powder Puff. I used it in a First Impressions. not too long ago look how it looks especially with this lip liner one thing i can say is it never dries down but this is the look i don't know if i'm gonna throw on some lashes or not but this is the typical look that we would go for for today just to do a full wear test and like i said i got a pretty busy day i have to go to work i have um basketball practice a team mom meeting i still gotta come home and cook and all that good stuff so we should have a very productive day and we should get a good real wear test out of this foundation and concealer i'm not looking to see if anything creases or anything because that's just what my eyelids do i crease underneath no matter what but i mean it is what it is what are you guys thinking so far i'm loving it so far but so far, I'm really liking this foundation. It feels really lightweight. It feels like it covered majority of my imperfections and stuff, like my dark spots and all that. So I'm feeling this foundation and I'm actually loving the concealer because with it being radiant, a radiant concealer, I don't see any textures in my skin underneath my eyes right here i'm not seeing any textures at all so i'm loving it and i still look really glowy and dewy you still have that radiantness peeking out so i think so far so good it is right now 10 20 and um we should have this foundation and concealer on the whole day so therefore yeah we could test it out and get a good wear out of it and see if it is a good foundation or not for me and my liking so hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far and i will see you in a little while to check in okay Hey you guys, so now I'm on the vlog camera and I just wanted to give you guys a different lighting setting camera 
feel to what we're looking like with this foundation. This is the NYX Radiant Born to Glow foundation as well as Born to Glow concealer. And like I said, I just want to give you guys a different look and out different lighting of how the foundation and stuff is wearing. And she looks pretty freaking good in natural lighting. I'm in front of my window here. So you guys could see like there's no extra lighting or anything. This is just natural lighting. And like I said, I'm liking the way she's looking. I think she's going to be one of my new favorites. She's probably going to be a go-to foundation and concealer for me. So yeah i just want to give you guys a quick check-in on a different camera and let you guys see what i see in natural lighting so that's check-in number one only six minutes later <laughs> i'll see you guys later hey you guys it is now 3.13 and as we could tell the lips are wearing off but the video is not about the lips. Here I am checking in still looking flawless. I did end up throwing on some lashes today um, versus earlier because I was just looking like a almost like a naked mole rat without some lashes on so you guys this is what we're looking like i know i'm driving or whatever i shouldn't be or whatever but this is just how mom life goes i'm headed to go and pick up my children well my baby boy and then um i will be cooking and then practice has gotten moved to an hour back so we will be an hour behind on time and but is a better thing because I won't be able to do my final check-in until about 9, 10 o'clock, maybe 11 o'clock tonight. Which will mean that I've had this makeup on since 9 o'clock this morning. And yeah, it will make it more more of a wear test, a longer wear test. Um, just for looks of it, everything is still looking good smile lines are starting to peek through a little bit which is not nothing unusual because around this time knowing that i smile i eat i talk at my job that smile lines start to creep through which like i said is not a big deal but i'm not oily i'm not changing colors i'm not becoming ashy or anything so I feel like we're doing pretty good and the concealer is still holding up pretty well too. Everything is still looking very decent. Wow, you guys. Here we are at the end of the night. It is currently 9.09 p.m. Oh, yeah, I have so much to say about this foundation and concealer literally this makeup has been on all day and the only thing that has worn off is my lips and I told you guys earlier that I added lashes because I was just feeling like I was missing something but girl look at this face I have not blotted one time I have not powdered one time I have not touched up my foundation, my highlight, my bronzer, nothing. I haven't even touched up my lips. Um, I let the lips just wear smooth off. The powder puff actually did dry down like maybe 20, 30 minutes later, but it did dry down and it really was lightweight and soft but it is just like the foundation and concealer, you guys. I really like this foundation and concealer. Look at my skin. 
my smile lines are just now starting to show and they're starting to peak earlier in my check-in i told you guys that my smile lines were coming in this side is deeper it's just a little bit longer than this side which is literally right here the creasing under my eyes is not as bad as it normally would be literally normally it would be worse than this by the end of the day and it's not it really looks pretty well i got a little wear and tear right here but my forehead there is no wear oh i see a little bit of wear right here in this spot right there there's a little wear where the foundation and concealer is starting to break up and also right here on my nose I did not recognize that at all today throughout my day. My highlighter is still popping. My bronzer is still popping. I do believe that this concealer and foundation is probably going to be another go-to favorite foundation and concealer. And I can honestly say wearing it with the Wet n Wild Primer Serum actually did pretty freaking well together and to say that i only use the primer serum this is my third time using this with three different products and that primer serum is really really good so if you guys haven't looked into this primer serum i know it says new it's new at my walmart it's a hydrating primer serum if you guys haven't looked into it and you have normal to combination skin normal to dry pick this up try it out let me know how you feel about it if you guys haven't already picked up this foundation the born to glow pick it up pick it up it doesn't overdo you even if you are a oily skin girl as you can tell my skin has not bust not one peak of oil whatsoever so i don't think my oily girls wouldn't be like anyways like i was saying i don't think my oily skin girls would be intimidated by this foundation because it really truly just sits on your skin and meshes well with you i did not peak any bit of oiliness throughout the entire day whatsoever and i have not blotted i have not powdered i have not touched up or anything so i don't think my oily girls would be intimidated by this foundation or concealer so if you would like to try it out and then comment down below and let, let us all know how you feel about it and what kind of skin type you are go ahead and do so but you guys i think this is it to this foundation review and wear test I actually really, really like it, and I think it is going to be a part of my new favorites. I'm pretty sure this won't be the last time you guys will see it, and I do think I want to test out the mahogany shade just to see if it looks too deep for your girl or does it fit, or is it a great foundation shade for the summertime? Because you guys know that I get like 15 times darker during the summer so i would love to check out mahogany and i think i will repurchase the concealer multiple times because this concealer actually worked really freaking good for my skin tone for my skin tone my skin type and my dryness that happens up under the eyes so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have tried this foundation and concealer let us all know what your thoughts are down below and if you guys want to see more foundation reviews, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification so you don't miss any new uploads from your girl. And in the words of my loyal subscriber, keep shining and I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.